breath right quick. He ain't never seen it in a dress like this. Oh, he ain't never seen it in a dress like this. Probably why I got my I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Okay, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, my friends, we're gonna be glowing up to probably sit on the couch, go to the supermarket, work out. Those are the things that I'm probably gonna be doing today. Also, I've managed to pick the one day that the sun is going in and out behind the clouds. It's been so sunny lately, and I've just managed to pick this day to film. I'm I have a knack for picking days to film because I know we're all so bored believe me I'm struggling a little bit to find things to do even though I work from home already I'm still finding it hard you know to not be bored out of my brain so doing your makeup for fun sometimes can be a great way to just pass the time and you can literally do whatever the heck you want because here's the best part no one's gonna see you unless you go to like the supermarket or something so I'm looking a bit rough I tanned my face last night so if it looks weird that's why by the way for those of you who may be wondering about nails because I get so many questions questions about how I do these. I think I'm going to make a dedicated video all about how I do these since everyone basically can't do their nails anymore. I do show you guys how I do these in my summer glow up video if, if you want to go watch that but I think I'm going to make a dedicated video all about my clothes. But I love them. I was like you know what we're going to bring the super crazy long nails back because why not? I think a lot of people either love or hate these. I love them so I'm going to do it. Even though we've got all the time in the world right now I still haven't washed my makeup brushes. Is it overexposed? Probably is knowing me. I really want this look to be like super glowy and like very orange tones. I'm gonna use this Astralis Glitz eyeshadow palette. It's really good. So we're gonna do the skin first. Wow, look at me go. And the sun's gone away. Why do you do this to me? Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna moisturize. I'm gonna use the Dermalogica Clear Start Hydrating Lotion. We are going into winter, so are we? Are we in winter? So since it is getting a little bit cooler here in Brisbane, slowly but surely, my skin gets a little bit dry in the winter times. So I love this for pretty much my everyday moisturizer. It's super lightweight, but it's hydrating at the same time because it's a lotion. Lotions are a lot more lightweight and they don't feel heavy on your skin. So I'm gonna use this to moisturize my skin first of all. I want really dewy, hydrated skin today. You can get Dermalogica at Mecca. It's just so nice. It smells really nice as well. For those of you who do have acne, I do recommend this moisturizer because it's going to hydrate your skin without being heavy and like clogging up your pores because the last thing that you want to do when you have acne is put a heavy moisturizer on. It just feels awful. So I really, really like this one. Even though I love putting on makeup, it has been really nice like not having to wear makeup at all. Like it's just nice to embrace your skin sometimes. And I think, oh my God, I just got black all over me because... <laughs> my towel but it is fun to play with makeup so for primer i'm gonna use the milk hydro grip primer pop that bad boy on i love this stuff it's so sticky in the best way possible i've also been wearing my apple watch a lot lately I, this is gonna be a chatty video i'm so sorry if you don't like that but i've been wearing my apple watch a lot lately i've been going on lots of walks and trying to work out more i'm trying to get into running i'm not a runner never have been but i've been really liking wearing this all the time i know i said i think in one of my videos that i only wear it to work out but i've been wearing it all the time now um but i want to get some different bands for it so for the skin for the skin for the skin for the skin um just first of all i have this this is so random but i have this ready set glow setting spray from vanity it looks a bit scary because it's like very pigmented that's what she looks like my hand looks green ah what does that smell like eucalyptus interesting this is what my skin looks like after that spray it's definitely quite dewy i'm also gonna add a little bit of the pore blur primer from revolution i've been really liking this just like on my nose and stuff oh, focus this around my nose and my pores so this is the Hourglass Spanish Stick in Stick in Beige. This is gonna match. We should be fine. So, oh, I'm so excited to put makeup on. I am so excited for the day when I can like do my makeup to go out. That's gonna be so much fun. Okay, I'm blending this out with this e.l.f. brush. I got it when I was in Canada and it's really, really nice. Cause I want it to be like dewy skin, but quite full coverage at the same time. Still looks natural. <laughs> Um, like whenever I want to have good skin, like guaranteed good foundation day, I use the hourglass. 
Also, we are almost done redoing my room. So my like room to a video will be going up quite soon. Stay tuned for that. So now I'm gonna go over my face with my beauty blender. I'm just gonna spray my face with a little bit of setting spray just to make sure everything looks nice and fresh. And then I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Put some of that down. I have a feeling this is gonna turn into not so much a natural look and more of a glowy full coverage look, which is fine by me. I haven't put makeup on in so long. And her out. One thing I do like to do is kind of like blend out my concealer first and then bring it up. It just like, I don't know, it just doesn't make it as heavy, like right directly underneath the eye. Okay, so we've got the skin base down and I'm gonna use some cream blush today. Um, I've got some by Iconic London, but I've also got one by Emco Beauty. I don't know which one I wanna use. So the darker one is the Emco Beauty one. I think I'm gonna go on with the Emco Beauty one just because I feel like the Iconic London one might not show up on my skin. It might be a bit too light. I'm just gonna, just kinda, I don't want it to take off my foundation though. I feel like I may have just done that. Do I just blend it out with my finger? I think the finger's the way to go. Dingling, is that right? <laughs> it's so shiny, holy wow. I'm gonna go on the nose a little bit. The only thing I don't like about liquid blush is you obviously have to like take your time blending it out. But that's kind of cute. I like how glowy that is. I like that. Okay, moving on. I'm also going to add some of the iconic London drops. So I'm going to go on my chin. Day and night to morning. I think the key is to kind of put it on a surface and like dab your finger in it and then put it on your face. I feel like I just couldn't not set that though because if I touched someone, which I shouldn't be at the moment, if I were to hug someone, my entire face would come off on their shirt. <laughs> now I'm gonna set my face. I probably should be using a translucent powder, but I'm just gonna use my Fit Me powder in light medium. It's such a nice powder. Ooh, you can really see the highlight. My breath right quick. He ain't never seen it in a dress like this. Oh, you know that even then I press like this. Probably why I got my For bronzer. Ugh. Wow, I just dropped the end of my brush into my very expensive hourglass bronzer. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Of course gonna go in with my hourglass bronzer. I think I want to look super bronzy, which is nothing new, but <laughs> um, moving on to blush. I'm going to add this NYX Ombre blush. It's a quite like peachy color. Oh, she's pigmented. I love blush so much, especially on the nose. I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. I'm gonna make them look quite messy. I want them to be that nice bushy brow look with like some shape. <laughs> Okay, so brows are looking really bushy, but they're probably gonna like drop, so they might not look as crazy, but I really like them. So I'm not gonna go in with an eyeshadow base today. I'm just gonna, yeah, use this Glitz palette from Astralis. It's really nice. The shadows are beautiful. I'm just gonna go into this shade first and just put that. This eyeshadow brush probably has some darker brown on there, so it's probably gonna turn out maybe a little bit darker, but that's fine. They're just so pigmented. Like, look at that. I'm also gonna take this underneath my lash line. The biggest change in my makeup routine of like the last few months, or like maybe a bit more, is not setting my under eye really. Like I basically will just maybe powder like a tiny, tiny bit, but I mainly will use the eyeshadow to kind of like hide any creasing that happens with the concealer. And I love it. It just looks so much better. Um, and you have like, it doesn't feel as heavy. Now I'm gonna kind of mix together this orangey shade and the darker brown to create like a very orangey toned brown and just very lightly add that into my crease because I don't want this to be like a very intense orange look, but I do want it to be more orangey because it makes my eyes look quite green. I think if you have blue eyes too, this will look really pretty. And then also pop that under my eyes. I'm gonna take one of the shimmers, which I'm gonna mix together these two shimmers. I'm not gonna use the glitters because that'd be a bit much, but I'm just gonna like lightly tap my brush 
into the gold and like more bronzy shade and then just lightly tap that kind of all over the lid like obviously not doing a cut crease or anything but see how pretty that looks and it's so fast too because when you pat it it makes it a lot less intense but it just adds that like sheen so beautiful it's almost like highlighting your eyeball <laughs> And that is basically the eyeshadow pretty much done. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And I'm going to use this Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. My lash lift is like hanging in there. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of cream eyeliner into my waterline. Because that's going to make my eyes really pop. I went through a phase of doing this a lot. And then I kind of stopped. So it just brightens up your eyes. For highlighting my brow bone, I'm going to use my Jouer Highlighter. And then I'm going to add this highlight as well to my cheeks. We literally need such a little amount of this and I'm already looking super glowy. But blend that out a bit. This is my favorite type of makeup to do. It's just so pretty. Like that's how I describe it is pretty. I'm going to line my lips with this NYX eyeliner eyeliner is it an eyeliner no it's a lip liner <laughs> it's in the shade natural it's a little bit more like brown and like more cool tone i think it'll go with the eyes i'm also going to add a little bit of mac spice just to add a little bit more dimension to the lips okay for the lipstick i'm going to use mannequin by jeffree star this has been my go-to lip combo. I'm running out of this tiny little thing. And just put it mostly all over my lips. Kind of use the lip liner to buff out the edges. And then of course I'm going to top it with my Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow. Just in like the center. And then of course I'm going to finish off with... Urban Decay All Nighter. <laughs> okay, so this is the final makeup look. I really, really love it. This is the makeup that I wore when I um, took the photo in my workday video. Um, I don't know if this will be up before then, but I just love the eyes. It's, they're so simple, but I think they look so beautiful. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, and not too bored. Hopefully my videos can be some source of entertainment for you, hopefully. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I shall see you in my next one. Bye!